I'm curious, what was the first thing you were told about this show? I mean, how much did they tell you? What did they describe it as? Because it seems like it's kind of a hard show to describe. Yeah, you're so right. Try doing two days of press describing it. It was, um, you know, it kind of has a bit of everything, but at its heart, it's a suspenseful thriller. And along the way, it asks a lot of really big questions about the truth and what is the truth and how it can be constructed and who by and, um, you know, the role social media plays in that surveillance, how it impacts our lives, your personal rights. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, you know, socioeconomic status and how that impacts your life and whether it's fair. And, you know, there's massive topics in there. Um, but there's also, we get to see these very ordinary people that lives their lives get completely turned upside down because they're accused of a kidnapping and then they're tasked with clearing their name and, and how that really affects their lives and how it could possibly destroy it. Um, and we get to see that all play out in the course of eight days. So it's, there's a lot going on in terms of how I heard about the show. Um, I got to read the first two episodes. I got to read for the role of Tara. Um, and I mean, as soon as I saw who was involved, I was pretty hooked with it being Apple TV plus and Kesha who made brought us Homeland and false flag, the Israeli series that suspicion is based on. Uh, and then Rob Williams, the writer, Chris Long, who was going to direct it. It was just, just, I couldn't, I couldn't say no. And then I read the first two scripts and I couldn't put it down. And so, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like a few days later, I was in England and it was kind of, we were off. It's funny because the first two scripts, like the, by the time you get to the end, it feels like a very different show once you know everything. Yes. Did you have hints? Did you have to find out the rest as you got each script or did you know where it would all end up? No, we kind of, we'll, we learned as we, we learned what we needed to know when we needed to know it. So uh, because we shot out of order with came up with a whole new protocol of how to film during the pandemic and, um, that meant that we shot quite a lot out of order and so we did get a few scripts earlier than we may have otherwise got them which was very fun but we didn't find out uh, i didn't know what was happening in the final episode till about halfway through filming i was shocked yeah i would imagine <laughs> <laughs> When Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. ended, did you actively want to seek out another TV series or were you not that specific when you were looking for possible projects? Were you just sort of open to everything or did you want to find, uh, you know, another show like this where you could work with another ensemble? I wasn't overly specific in the format, I guess. For me, it always comes down to the script and the character and and that could be a rom-com or a thriller or I... Um, I kind of know it when I read it and and how I how I um how I feel like what I need to be challenged in and then also you know it's like the job that says yes to you I I really wanted this job but I just didn't think there was I I did the audition and honestly didn't give it a second thought because it just felt like it was um just a just a dream you know and so then when it did happen it was a really out of body experience and for me it happened very quickly i came in kind of right at the end of the casting process kind of accidentally and um and then it, it was very fast and it felt very surreal um i i don't i don't i i only audition for things that i love and so that's kind of something i've always always um stuck to whether work's coming in or it isn't because uh you know it's an investment of your life and your time and uh I, this was just such a wonderful show and i i want to say that i fought so hard for it but i i honestly just didn't think there was any way i was gonna book it i mean i did my best but i didn't like honestly didn't give it too much thought maybe that's maybe that's what did it <laughs> Are you the type of actor who gets nervous at the start of every project? Do you not get nervous? Like, how, how do you, and if you do, like, how do you get over those nerves? Yeah, you know, um, I do get nervous. 
I was super nervous for the fir- for the first couple of weeks of this because I just it felt very fast and I think you know your mind can play tricks on you of like whether you deserve it or not or whether they've made a mistake and you kind of think they're going to tap you on your shoulder and say I'm so sorry we thought you were somebody else and you know <laughs> so you kind of go through all that um but I I enjoy nerves you know I think it just shows that you really care about it and and it also gives you a lot of scope for personal growth you know of going it, it's a real sense of achievement when you get home at the end of the day and you go I did it I I can do this and and some of it is um you know having a really supportive team around you I think ensemble pieces are really important to me and I love being a part of an ensemble and so as soon as we got in and and we all gelled very quickly and and you know the 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 times that we were filming in were really strenuous for everybody around the world and so to be able to to be able to be nervous was such a privilege because it meant that we were still doing what we loved at a time when it that was really rare to be able to keep working um so so yeah i definitely get nervous but i also like sadistically love the nerves <laughs> You've developed a very close relationship with your Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. showrunners. So what was it like to form that actor-showrunner relationship on this show? How did that collaboration evolve between you and the showrunner and the directors? Was it a very different feeling experience? No, not really. I mean, it was, um, I have such huge respect for them and they're they're lovely, you know, and there's there was a real collaborative process. Um, you know it was we were all going through something extraordinary together as much like their body of work is incredible and 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 expansive but nobody had ever shot under these circumstances so (laughs) as a result we got really close really quickly and we were all away from our usual I don't want to say crutches, but comforts, you know, our usual way that we get rid of nerves or, you know, you'll go home and you'll be able to give your loved one a massive hug and that will quell the nerves. None of us kind of had those uh, methods. And so then we found, we sought comfort in each other and, and, um, and that was a really bonding experience. And I just, we, we, um, we just had such a, a wonderful time on set and it felt like, we were all doing something that felt really cool and fun and um and important as well like we all really believe in the project so so yeah it was um it was great and actually there was a lot of connections with agents of shield a lot of people chris long one of my mentors on agents of shield that i shadowed a bunch was a director called nina corrado lopez and she was chris long's um protege so it was cool there was a lot of connections that you know you kind of think "Ah, i'm not going to know anyone and then (laughs) you realize the agents of shield network goes wide on agents of shield you were one of the heroes and good guys who often did things to save the world and help people and on this show as we learn what's going on your characters really are all sort of painted as the villains or at least the, the people responsible for in some way being involved with this kidnapping How different did it feel to play a character like Tara that's always trying to figure out what's happening and having to react to these things being done to her as opposed to someone like Simmons who was more actively involved in making things happen? Yeah, gosh, that's such a good question because I feel like Simmons was usually, um, you know, praised for being a good girl. And then now all of a sudden I'm playing someone that maybe those lines are slightly blurred. It was really fun. Um, you know, I really wanted to do her justice and I, I think we've achieved in, 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 in everybody kind of painting these characters that they're not all good and they're not all bad. And mm-hmm. I think people may draw their own conclusions as to how morally ambiguous they are or how, if they went too far or not far enough, or cause we've all made, we all make decisions in life. And I think, um, some of them you might not want to be questioned on a global scale scale with millions of people, you know, seeing your face and, and going as ah, she did it or he did it. And um, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed the ambiguity of it. And I think that we, uh, we played with it on set, you know, we kind of, we found it in the moment as well, which, which was nice. Yeah, there's a real fun to the show, because it feels like, you know, you, you're constantly wondering, could it be any one of these characters? Could it be all of them? Could it be <laughs> some pairing of them? And I love when you can find something in the characters to root for, but also be suspicious of at the same time. It's it's definitely 
a lot of fun to watch in that area. Totally. And when we were filming it, we didn't necessarily know everything about each other's character either. So that was that was really fun to 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 play with. And, you know, we each had a secret. Everything that happens on this show happens because of Catherine Newman. And yet you don't really share scenes with her. So did it feel like Uma Thurman was sort of off doing her own thing practically on a whole different show, even though she was playing such a central figure to the story? You know, it's really interesting because there's, without giving too much away, there there are um, intertwining plots, you know? And so for, for my experience of it, it was extremely immersive with these other group of suspects, which is what Tara was going through. And so it, it, it was, it was really useful that I was, we were around each other all the time. And I think that chemistry really helps when you get along with people because, you know, you're spending a lot of time together, but also so are your characters and they're going through something extraordinary at the same time. So, so yeah, it also made, makes watching it amazing because there's so much of it that you know, I didn't, you're not yeah, around yeah. for. And so then you go, oh my gosh, wow, they, she played it like that. And I, she's just, I mean, Uma is iconic and it's such a massive role model to me. And um, I just think she's extraordinary in this. And, you know, we always knew, we, we knew, I, I knew that she would be, but there's something about seeing it that you just go, I, like I, I'm, I'm transfixed whenever she's on screen. Along with the ensemble, we also get to see your character's relationship with her daughter. So what was that bond like to form? Did you guys get to spend any actual time together? Yeah, we did. I got to hang out with her and her family. And I mean, she's such a brilliant actress, just a powerhouse of an actress. And um, yeah, it was really special because uh, I, you know, we kind of had a shutdown halfway through filming, well, not halfway through filming, three weeks into filming, but, and, and, um, uh, I, I kind of got to, you know, see her growth and uh, hear what she, you know, she's at school and it was like, there's just, it's such a, it's such a pivotal age anyway. And then to go through something like this and to, 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 to watch her grow through that was just an amazing experience. I absolutely loved working with her um and she's one to watch she's incredible in this without spoilers once you read the script for the final episode and learned the final reveals and learned about what would happen for your character what was your reaction what were the emotions you went through how did you react to to learning all of that oh my gosh i was shocked i was so <laughs> shocked and the amazing thing is is that without giving anything away, it's, it's not that there's a lot going on, you know, and it's, and it's complicated. And it, and I think, I, I think it's gonna, it, it's not so black and white. It's not yeah. so cut and dry. Like everybody potentially is going to have a slightly different opinion on the end result. Uh, as an actor, it was just the most amazing episode to shoot. And there's a particular scene that lasts a long time that was one of the best things to have been involved in. And a Chris Long shot that episode and it was, it's something I'll take with me forever because it was just so dramatic, so many twists and turns, so many amazing beats to play and, yeah, I, I've never experienced anything like it. And I think it's it's a payoff that by the time we get to that eighth episode, I think as a show we've really earned. And so they're always the, you know, the most delicious moments. Yeah, shows like this for me always sort of rely on on how it all ends up. And it, yeah. it, it keeps you on your toes. I love that. So thank you for talking to me about it. Oh, gosh, of course. 